What's up, Madden 25 fans? In today's video, we're going to be focusing on another type of pressure for our Scheme of the Week in Madden 25. Out of the 3-4 uh, package, the 3-4 over package specifically, it can be found in the Pittsburgh Steelers playbook. And the play we're going to focus on today is the Stink Pinch. And uh, I like the Stink Pinch for a couple of reasons. Um, but what we're going to focus on today is why we like it for pressure. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to baseline and press coverage. And we actually need to press. So um, once we baseline and press, we're going to show this look. And then we're going to man a line and manually press uh, the tight end here with um, Willis. Our job is to manually bump Willis by holding R1 or RB. And you see, we're just gonna get we're gonna get pressure. Now, can we get a gap pressure from this? Yes, we can. Uh, you you just need to baseline press and re blitz uh, Justin Smith. I believe that's the setup. And remember, man a line. So that you can get those bumps. And then you have got to press Willis. That's your primary responsibility. Or excuse me, your tight end here. Whoever the tight end is there. And there you see the pressure comes in. You're sending six. I understand that. This is a man pressure. Can you do it sending five? Yes, you can. The following is how you do it. But it's the same pressure we've been sending the whole game. Baseline press. Shift your D-line left. Crash your D-line out. Reboots both linebackers. And then now you're free to adjust with Baum and Put him whatever you want. The reason I don't like this pressure for this look is because it's the same blitz we've been sending all game. So why not mix it up with some A-gap pressure out of the Sting Pinch if we can possibly get it. So, you know, that's what I'm kind of going for with this um, this look here. It's, it's just something. But guaranteeing the fact is even if they, even if they play action block, even if whatever... I'm sending the noise at you, and I'm saying, man on man, my guys are better than your guys. I'm going to use or bump your tight end. I'm going to try to get you out of your timing, and I'm going to try and get a sack in the biggest moment of the game. This is your fourth and one call. This is what you, you go home, and, and you tell your, your parents you're a big boy because this is the call that you know people are afraid to make in this game, and you have got to be willing to make this call. It's, you know, sometimes you'll get A-gap, sometimes you won't. Depending on how they pick up the pressure, uh, it's going to depend on whether or not you get A-gap. So, anyways, guys, that's the video there. You see we got A-gap. And how do we get A-gap there? Well, we're just going to crash the line to the right. Uh, it's going to mean a slant, and then you're just going to get the A-gap. But you have got to, like, got to, got to, got to, got to make sure that they are pressed up in the box. Because if they're not pressed up in the box, you're going to fail, and it, they're going to be open. Okay, but if they're pressed up in the box and they can bump them at the right time, you may, you don't even need to base align this. Don't baseline this. I'm gonna change the setup for this one play because this is the play. This is the crucial play. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna man align. You're gonna press coverage. You're gonna individually press whoever is not pressing. So like here would be individually press Patton, individually press uh, Davis with our adjustments. And then you're going to play an inside-out game with Davis, with Willis, and um, with, with Willis and Whitner. Your user, Whitner, Willis, you're going to press him, get off of him, and try to make another jump on the ball. In my opinion, I've found that this man coverage can hold up long enough for this A-gap pressure to come through. If they block a running back, it's all over. You're in trouble. But if they don't, this comes in the A-gap. It may get you that crucial stop in that fourth down situation. So be sure to at least have this in your arsenal and be willing to go to it at any time. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Hope you guys can use this stink pinch. I realize that it's a six-man blitz sending at, at going at five guys. I understand that. If they do block the running back, you're 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 perfectly correct that it will pick this up. But as far as my my scheme, and that's what this is uh, that's what scheme of the week's about. It's about a scheme, not a play. It fits my scheme perfectly for what I want to do. Because it comes up the A-gap, and it's man coverage. And that's the main thing. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions or need further explanation, let me know in the comments below. We'll see you guys in the gameplay tomorrow. We'll try to lock up one defense for you with some 3-4. Try to put some points on the board with that pistol offense. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you guys next week with another great scheme of the week. Thanks for watching.